Right to see the famous series is coming on Sci-Fi at the moment in the US and in the UK. Please give her a prom page that we have. She plays Jordan's Kate Kelton. And she's one of those partnerships. It's one of my favourite partnerships in television history. Please give her a for He plays Vince Richard Dyer. See, no matter where you go, Richard, they just love you around the beach today. They do. Bye. Don't do the wave. Don't do the wave. It's a big welcome to Kate as well. It's her first ever Comic Con event. It's the it first time she's ever done a panel. So give her a round of applause for that. <laughs> so, thank you very much for joining us and thank you as well for your roles on me. It is a fantastic series. But what is it like to film in a place which is kind of freezing as Nova Scotia is? It might become a challenge for both of you. Uh, well, it's a bit of a myth. Uh, people think of uh, Canada as cold, and uh, actually, Nova Scotia right now is about the same as it is here in England. Although I'm from LA, so what you said is a lie. <laughs> it's <a little> freezing. <laughs> Well, I live in Nova Scotia, yes. The, the, the summers there are beautiful, yeah. lovely. Yeah, I wish you could it's, it's, Yeah, it's a great uh, vacation spot, lots of beaches. Oh, uh, the air is so Not crowded. Crazy. After Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah, I almost passed that. I got off the plane. I was like, I'm going to get too much oxygen. <laughs> and then for Richard, yeah, if you're an amazing from Nova Scotia, that must be kind of... Really, you're going to be Mark Haven and bring Nova Scotia the positive Oh, it's wonderful, yeah. Even when it's pretending to be Yeah, yeah. and it is well, it is pretending to be But uh, it's great for me because I don't have to travel. I don't have to come from LA and live in Manchester, Nova Scotia. And I'm a little about 45 minutes from where we do. So, you like to ask the you to you I 
Well, I didn't find out what else to do. It runs in your family. It does run in my family. I have an, an uncle uh, who was a uh, British actor, Robert Dante. And, and then I had a brother, uh, Peter Dante, an older brother. And uh, I guess it was just something that I was sort of uncertain what I was going to do with my life. And that was something that I just had to try. Huh. I, thought, I don't think I'm a born actor. But, uh, I just And I really uh, just took to it. That was it. And it was a wonderful feeling to, to find something in my life. It was great. My advice? Well, if you have any inclination, give it a shot. Try it. You know? Don't be afraid of failing. That's the thing in this business. It's so easy to fail. And it's hard to be successful. But you got to give it a shot. Uh, I, I want to say that I started, um, I sort of took a backwards approach to it because I was uh, a young student first. And suddenly I realized Oh, the heavy lifting on camera, far less than off the <laughs> camera. So, no, they just asked me to do a lot of stuff because I was like free labor at being in their class and we had to actually pay real actors that we got. So I came out of film school and I said we had a real, and that's what I could take to different agencies and, and contract education. But, uh, I want to say that film schools, if you can find any film schools and see if they have postings asking for actors who are talking about auditions, then that's a great way to get into it because you're not paid yet, you're not earning not very really much, it's not a union thing that you have to worry about, and uh, it's sort of just a good way to get your feet wet. And uh, it's good to start in a theater. You can get into a play. Yeah. Because the acting is acting. It doesn't matter if it's a theater or a film. Or a TikTok guy. Still got to the same lines. Right. Uh, you know, you, and you, over and over again. You don't have to know the whole play of television, which is really nice. No. Just like they have no idea what's going to happen. That's right. <laughs> this season in Aiden, I've kind of seen both Vince and Jordan's relationship kind of develop more now. There's kind of a bit of friction between the two. What's that like to play on camera? It's hard. He's such a sweetheart. Have you met him? <laughs> I had to strangle the man at one point. Not really. You don't know. Like a kid. It's No, it's great. It's fun. So, uh, you know, it's great to work with. <laughs> and then you said there's lots of surprises in here. And what was both of you been the biggest surprise that you had when you filmed the show so far? That he was the leader. I think the leader. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I get out the script and suddenly, <laughs> I'm the leader of the guard. <laughs> so, okay. Did it make you think about your past episodes of performance? Well, yeah, I, maybe I could have performed them differently. <laughs> I fell over in my chair when I first got that script. <laughs> Literally just spit down to it. My chair tipped over. <laughs> <laughs> they need to kill you before you even have a set time. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've heard this the greatest in London recently, you know, maybe kind of, maybe seems to have a real crush on the coffee. Have, have you kind of picked up the coffee addiction through being in Haiti? I actually haven't had caffeine in 23 years. Ow. If I had caffeine, I mean, look at how high fire I am. You're No, not uh, one cup a day is usually what I mean. So, the coffee day is saving lives. That's good. Oh, that's good. Good. <laughs> good. 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 
you know what? I actually haven't seen anything since my, you know, thing that happened to me. I uh, had to not spoil that. Oh, oh, but I did hear that there was an episode where it uh, was it just recently the state TV about the town not having troubles. Hi. <laughs> that would have been ideal. But I probably would have just been walking around like petting everybody. So <laughs> it, was, it was for the best that I wasn't included. <laughs>
possible, but I have to meet her before I die. Is that, I mean, who even knows? She might be like three foot tall and has curly blonde hair, you know, but she's me. <laughs> Kind of surreal experience, are we? Right. Me and the people that dub you. Yeah. And Hayden is also notorious for having really some fantastic guest stars that people don't expect to have. Is there any guest stars that you would love to work with, and, you know, maybe actors that you'd long admire, and if you could bring it back and you did come back on the series, okay? would you, is there anybody you should work with? I don't think, I mean, anybody that has been on the show? Anyone that you could, if you could pick anyone that you admire. Oh, really admire. Apart from Tic Tac, yeah. Big list. I mean, okay. can we start at the top? Julianne Moore, Kate Blanchett. Like, it's not too much, is that asking too much? No, nope, it's your list. <laughs> yeah, that's my list, that'll do. <laughs> yeah. So, Christian Carmelo, um, he came on, so I'm not going to There you go. Hey. But I never worked. People who weren't on the Oh, who weren't? What's your wish list? Oh, oh, oh. Anybody? No, I know. Just open it. Open it. Right now. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, who would you like to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Julie Christie. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Can they do anything with like that? <laughs> if you've got it, that's your trouble to resurrect anything in real life, and then you can go for it. But in terms of Hayden, as with most TV series, it's... Well, Hayden more than most, I think, it has a real way of like drawing you in. What first drew you in about the series? When you first read the script, what first made you think, right, I love this show? Well, I, I must say, I, I think it's... Um, the character that I was given to play, which I found uh, uh, in, interesting, you know, that's a color and so on. And you don't know exactly what's going on. Okay. You know, you don't know if it's, where it's going to go, where they do carry the going to go, and my brother. So on, I think that was the big thing. And then, well, just, I, I love the whole idea of <laughs> so that you don't have a waistband even to distract from the fact that you're not naked. So they're literally wearing like headband banana hammocks. <laughs> and they're running down the street in broad daylight. We don't like cordon off the streets. The public is still walking around. <laughs> I got hats off to those guys because that was a hard job. But ladies and gentlemen, it's my, that is the end of time we have for this panel, so unless there's any further questions before we go, uh, I'll go one more to Clark Kent. Paul and Jordan. Yeah. What's your relationship like with Nathan in real life? Um, um, do you prefer acting as if you hate him or did you love him? Oh, it's definitely more fun pretending that I loved him. <laughs> The kissing scenes were definitely a highlight. That was so much fun. <laughs> and partly because he was nervous. <laughs> I mean, he's the one who's married, right? No, he's such a sweetheart. And there's something to be said about the fact that in real life, Lucas is hilarious. Like, I cannot even stress this enough. The man's sense of humor is warped. It is so right up my alley. And so we just got along like a house on fire immediately, right? And it was pretty amazing. And then his wife was actually training me as well. So I got to sort of ask her questions about him and get into his head even more from the wife's side, right? And then uh, his daughter just loved me too, apparently, like just was attached to me, couldn't let me go, and didn't recognize me once I had my makeup on and in wardrobe. She was very freaked out. Like the first time she met me, I was just 
His wife was training you yeah, uh, to do what? Uh, she was training Lucas and uh, Emily on the weekend. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. To be an assassin. No. Well, she was a cop this season, so she taught me some tricks. Mm-hmm. As if Jordan really needs them. But, you know, <laughs> she seems pretty adept at the gun. But yeah, no, it was definitely more fun making him score me nervous while we were having big out scenes because I knew he had to go home to his wife and explain. <laughs> God, it must just be so hard. I know, it's probably why I'm going to be single forever. <laughs> no, we'll do more big out scenes. Yeah. It feels great. It's awesome. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please give up the cake out for now, Richard. Thank you. Thank you for the guy for Hadrian Palace this afternoon.